The Hocken family have been here for over 125 years. My great grandfather started here with draft horses. He's gone through sheep and arable, and my dad converted to dairy in 1975, and we've been milking cows here ever since. I went overseas, I studied at Cambridge for two years, I did a Masters in Politics. Uh, then I worked in Brussels for five years, worked in European policy and politics, then moved to Sydney and worked in the Australian government, uh, federal government there for four and a half years. Then I was really looking for a fresh challenge um, and farming was in the blood and so with my wife and I we decided to come back to the farm in 2013. Since coming back, I've also done a Nuffield Scholarship in 2017, which really gave me um, a broader picture on agriculture and also enabled me to see some of the best you know, practices around the world and really get into the detail of, of what made them so good. We've got some fantastic opportunities in agriculture. I think two of the big ones really, um, which we are really at the pointy end of, and that is feeding the world with a growing population and managing the landscapes. So that's two things that we have a lot of control over um, and two things which there's a, there's a real convergence around what people are thinking about those two big issues and how we can address them. There are some big differences to the way we farm today as to 20 years ago. I think one of them is around um, consumer awareness and consumer perception. So farmers must look beyond the farm gate much more. Um, there's certainly big waves of technology coming across farms as well. Um, and it's how we utilise that and shape our businesses so we can make the best of that new technology. We can encourage younger farmers into the industry by looking at what is their purpose. I would say get involved, follow your purpose and, and produce some food sustainably.